Good morning, November 10th, 2016. This is CISG 114, Section 1, Web Technology and Life. And today is day number 24 in the week number 12. So let's get started. First of all, welcome back to today's class. Remember, this is week number 12 and day number 24. But when you look at the one screen, it's still week number 11. Day number 22. Well, the reason is very simple. I need to remind you one more time because we delayed one week in the contract number two. So we propagate the delay to week number 11. Actually, we have to introduce to you this topic earlier this week on Monday, but because we reserve the time for all the team to do team based sharing or presentations on Monday for the learning contract number three, we will only arrive at this form to help you understand the last milestone of this semester today. So you have uh, two and a half weeks left. If I add on to it, the make up class day, you have three and a half weeks left until the end of the semester, but officially, November the 30th is the end of the semester, except for one or two classes we're going to make as a makeup class. Okay, so the last milestone of the semester after learning contract number three, which most of you have already finished and have submitted the artifacts, it's called Integrative Learning, IL. And if you look at the, the methods of learning throughout the semester, the first milestone is inquiry-based learning, in which we help you to develop your ability to question into something through writing the journals of your own choice as far as the topic is concerned. In, in the writing the journal, IBL is developed through an OIA approach to help you to observe what you can see or what you can read from the source. They help you to provide questions as the basis to interpret what you have seen or what you have observed. And finally, applications as an important lesson learned after you have gone through the observation stage and the interpretation stage to provide lessons learned for your own learning experience. So it's basically quite empirical. It's based on experience, or rather you can say experiential learning on the specific topic, particularly speaking in this course, web technology. And then interpret for yourself the impact of that technology in our daily living. So that is the purpose of the first milestone. And once you have that point and skill of OIA in writing your journal, in questioning or something, we invite you to step into learning contract number two with the theme called self-regulated learning, SRL. In self-regulated learning, you still carry on with the IBL learning habit, but on top of these, you provide yourself with some housekeeping information, such as what exactly are my goals of doing this? You need to set learning goals. And you need to ask the question, how much time do I have to get this done? You need to have the information on timeline. You also need to ask yourself, now that I have the goals and have the timeline, what should I do? So in self-regulated learning, you need to have the experience of developing your action plan. What task should I finish in order to get done? those important things in second learning contract. And up to the action plan, we also introduced to you the ideas of assessment, evaluations, to evaluate through a closed monitoring system with a learning partner, do we do something which is effective enough to get the job done? Or are we still circling around without getting anything done. So you need to exercise your power in evaluation in such a way that you know when to change for the better. And we call this a 
adjustment, revisions of your absolute crime, in order to meet the deadline of your timeline, in order to accomplish the learning goals. So in the second milestone, which sounds to be a little bit more complicated, so we invite you to do pair work, teamwork presentations, and then you write important refractive rock. Okay? You did not write rock in the very first learning contract, but you did write a rock in the second learning contract. And after the second learning contract, we step into the third learning contract with problem-based learning as the theme in which you really have to get yourself involved in teamwork, dividing the work among members of your team after your team have already identified a team topic based on the pair topics that are already there in your team's two pairs. And in problem-based learning, you learn to put together inquiry-based learning and self-regulated learning together with all the experience from the members of the team. You engage yourself in team-based discussions in order to nail down the important information that your team members help to identify through the three specific questions that you created after you have identify a team topic. And in each of the three specific questions, your teams are permanently complete, you need to come back to the OIA context to create three sets of OIA for each of the three important questions process in your team project. And then the most important thing in the learning contract number three is to come up with a collaborative report in which each member of your team will get involved in writing and completing that report. And one more important thing is once the report has been completed, you need to come up with a PowerPoint to present your report. And all of these you have done and submit the work during the two days of November 7th and November 8th. Today is November 10th. And I'm so glad that in the past Monday, five out of the seven teams have already finished your in-house sharing of your learning contract as a free. And so today, I'm going to offer one final chance to the remaining two teams who have not done in-house sharing. You will be given, if you're willing to do it, 10 minutes per team to complete the learning contract as a free presentation. So may I ask the team if you want to do it today? Is your PowerPoint ready? Okay, make sure you upload your PowerPoint to your team discussion forum. Are you willing to do it? Is your team ready? You must get your PowerPoint ready and upload your PowerPoint to team discussion forum. Okay, so I will give 10 minutes to each team after my introductions today. Okay? So now, I want to bring you back to the last milestone of this semester. Remember, we do not have final exam. The reason is because we use the portfolio context to replace the final exam. The portfolio that you're going to produce would earn you a maximum of 20 semester points. If you go back to the syllabus, you know that the portfolio that you're going to at Humphers before the end of the semester, now to November 30th, one or two more classes, will earn you 20 semester points. And what are you going to do in that portfolio? First, you must learn how to use the wiki system in the UN Moodle environment to create your individual portfolio. This is an individual work, not teamwork. In other words, each one, each student in this class must get involved to produce your own learning portfolio in the Moodle environment using the wiki too. So where should you start? Well, here we go. You can see that I have already created an important link here using the wiki concept called personal e-portfolio space for weeks 11 to 15. Now this is already week number 12. So for week number 12 to week number 15, which is the make of class with, you still have four weeks time. Okay? So 
do not lose your time, okay? It does not take long to get this done, but you need to get all the work you've done throughout the semester and covering your work in your personal e-portfolio space here under the you are going to begin and you also need to indicate the score you have earned there all right particularly the scores of the in-class sharing how many times you've shared you need to create a table of records when did you share on which day and the video record now remember there is only one day that we did not have the video record that is where the day my cameras gone wrong okay so it's okay for that particular day you just need to list it and use the form where you sign up and where you present remember you need records there as the basis all the other in class sharing you must call the days and the video link okay and in the video which is the future video you must indicate which minute to which minute you appear there all right so all these records are very important when you do crane the 20th semester point. If you have done five times in class sharing, particularly including P learning contract number three and post learning contract number three, you need to indicate them. All right? And then that will earn you 20 semester points. Another thing that you need to include in your learning portfolio is your learn to learn score. Remember what you need to do in the learn to learn score? You need to produce five journal select them from week number one to week number ten actually if you have already finished your free learning contract you you finish three out of the five journals already okay you just need to do two more you will be given one point per journal for the five journals so five points out of the 15 points you can earn like that to learn to learn school and how about the 10 points out of the 15 points in the learn to learn score? What you need to do is to take the journal that you produce and write a blog for that journal topic. Now there are differences between a blog and a journal. A journal, you do not need to worry about prose style writing. You can actually list them out as the format I have already given you feedback in any contract number one. Now as, part, as the blog is concerned, you need to look at the feedback I'm going to give you in your second learning contract, which is coming by this weekend. And then for each block you produce, you will earn two points. So you need to write five blocks based on the five journals in order to earn all the 15 points you learn in that score. And that is 35 points already out of your final 100 points. And then you have about 10% per learning contract. So add to the 35 points and other 30 points, you have 65 points. Okay? Now, remember, you have chosen not to have the midterm exam. In other words, each one of you will be given a chance starting next week until the end of the semester, 10 minutes per person. You need to come up here with your PowerPoint and title what I have to learn in the semester. Okay? Full 10 minutes record is important. You must tell the whole class what you've learned. And with that in-class presentations with your PowerPoint, you can earn up to 15 semester points in praise of the midterm exam. So that is a very important thing. Okay? And I'm going to set up the sign up of the order of the presentation as soon as today, and so that you can sign up starting from next week, which day you want to do the in class, what I have learned sharing. So sooner you do it, the much better. And remember, we do not have all the time for you to delay. If you do not have enough time slot when you want to do it, it's your responsibility, okay? So starting from next week, Monday, Thursday, and then one more week, Monday, Thursday, and then the end of November, two more week of class days. I believe we have six more classes. Six more classes means what? 75 minutes times six. How many minutes a day? And divided by 10, you know how many students can actually do that? 
Okay? If you skip one, you lose one chance. So if you lose one chance, that means 15 points will be gone. Five of those 15 points are gone. So you understand that. So today, when I try to interpret for you the, the critical time frame for you to get your job done and get that desirable grade, you need to keep that in mind. All right? So, what do you need to do with the learning portfolio? You need to tabulate all your semester work in your learning portfolio by designing a portfolio which is good to take a good look at, for people to inspect. All right? But of course, you, can, you don't need to share that with your fellow students. You just need to produce the FME to give you an assessment. All right? But of course, if you want to share that with your fellow students, you might open up the link on your own. All right, put it in your Mahara portfolio. In this class, we are not interested in a Mahara system, but only the Pudo system. You just need to do it here, okay? No need to port to Mahara. Remember that. Only do it here using the wiki concept, okay? Okay, now I've already used up my five minutes, actually I've used up 20 minutes today because I need to give it back all the information here. So may I invite the two teams? Is your team ready? Is your PowerPoint uploaded in your uh, team discussion forum in week number 10? Okay? If you're ready, I'm going to give you the 10 minutes. So, what team are you in? Which team? So, Neil, I can see that you upload something already, right? Yes. Okay, so it's your PowerPoint? Yes. Not your PowerPoint yet, it's just something. I need your PowerPoint. Okay, you need to upload the PowerPoint. So, let's see. It's your team ready. Have you uploaded your PowerPoint to the team discussion forum? Yes. Okay. Which team? Team number one. It's your team number five. Okay. Okay. Still waiting for your team. Decide to use that final chance of 10 minutes, you need to upload the PowerPoint right here, okay? Under your team's team discussion forum. Alright. So I hope during this time you can actually discuss among your table member on what you need to do in the very final stage of the semester. This is called the learning portfolio stage. Before I come back to show you what the learning portfolio is all about. Okay? Understand what you need to do now. But actually, from now on, it is a matter of the individual work to create your learning portfolio using the wiki system. I've given you enough learning to use the wiki system. It's now your job to design your wiki system, pull everything together from the free learning contract periods, and then you could take a good look at how many points you earn out of 100 semester points. And then that might be, I just mentioned, uh, you need to work out your in-class sharing points, out of 20 semester points, you need to work out your learn-to-learn -learn score, uh, which is out of 15 semester points, you need to perform during class 10 minutes sharing on what I've learned in the semester, which is 15 semester points in praise of the midterm exam. And of course, 
when you finish all these in your learning portfolio, you can have 20 semester forms, uh, which is your portfolio score, equivalent to the final exam. And you have to do all of these before November 30th, or the latest one or two days after November 30th. The final day is the final mega class day, okay? And we do not have any final exam, and the final exam is your learning portfolio, all right? So, and we do not have any midterm exam because your midterm exam is your intram 10 minutes individual sharing of presentations on the topic, what I have learned in the semester. So it's a, it's a different way to provide assessment for learning, okay? So let's double check if you have already uploaded your PowerPoint. Good, I can see your PowerPoint here. So could I give you the 10 minutes now? Are you ready? Thank you. Let me open up the PowerPoint for you. Okay. For those of you who are not speaking on this side, the person who speak on this side. All right. Thank you very much. So we will be fine. I have team number five. Hello, everyone. We are team five. And today we will talk about the what's the impact of the internet on life. It's not hard to find that we live in the age of internet. People can do many things on the internet, like keeping in touch with friends, shopping, share photos, tagging. So we found the social web and the use of the internet. And photo sharing and tagging. Today, people are sharing dominates in social networks and it's a matter of our, for our life. And taking photos with people are hanging out with friends and only to re recall the delicious food and the happy life. Not only the photo sharing and tagging, but also many applications. We use these applications in our daily life. Most of them are using social web. These online social interactions from the basis of much online activity, including online shopping, education, gaming, and the social networking websites. But we found that not all of the internet users can use it flexibly in any area. So we found the mashup, which is a social page or web application. that do this contact from more than one source to create single new service displayed in a single um, paragraphical interface. For example, a user, a user could combine the address and the photographs of their library benches with a Google map to create a map mashup. It makes our life more closer to convenience. Social web mashup, photo sharing, and tagging, they are part of the internet. We use this to share our life. All of this show the internet impact of our daily life and also bring us benefit. So each of us have one individual topic. Okay, uh, those topics are what is photo sharing, what is tagging, what is social web, and uh, what what mashup. After we discuss our topic. We found that it has a great relationship with the good with the word convenience. Now is a level of knowledge economy. Information is all before the speed of expansion and explosion. The future world is the network world to make our country in this information world to keep up with the pace of the times. As the main force of the 21st century, it is necessary to be able to be more quickly adapt to this high-tech society, to have the ability to quickly and timely assess the effect, uh, to effective scientific information from the outside, with the ability to disseminate information. This is the quality. The network is precisely adapted to these requirements. As people's activities on the web and communication increase, information about their social relationships become more available. 
social networking sites such as Facebook, as well as the future data web, enable people to make new friends, keep in touch with their friends. Also, they can do jobs through internet. People share users' created contents, such as photos, videos, blogs. The data shows that the number of using these apps are still increasing, which means it is a new life. Obviously, these web activities are not complex. They are easy for people to use in their daily life. The advantages of text are that they are extremely flexible and easy for the user to use. That means it is easy to take a bit of data as you input it. With any type of label that you want to, you will of course normally be given a choice of the text that you have already created. But if you don't find what you want, you can quickly add a new one. Network uh, system will solve all the problems we need to 
results of, for us. Uh, conclusion. Through this study, we found that the internet has many advantages and the internet has changed our lives so much we can chat with friends through the internet and we can learn knowledge through the internet. But when we use the internet, we need to correctly use in a good application of the network in order to find this benefit. Some of our knowledge is also from the internet. So it's never really made our lives more convenient. Uh, this, was, uh, this is our <coughs> reference. That's okay. Okay, we thank you. Uh, team number five to help us to understand the impact of the intellect in our daily living by giving us some lightning example. Uh, the team, I, I think what they are trying to get course is the applications provided through the internet, such as the web, such as the different e-business, such as the uh, communication tool with the social media. So we thank you very much. Now, may I ask, Neil, is your team ready to? Yes. Okay, may I see that uh, team number? Seven. Seven, okay. And you go to team number seven. Okay, let's do PowerPoint here. Okay. become a knowledge management tool and there's are two reasons that we found. And uh, the first way is Wiki has has many features as as same as the knowledge management as the knowledge management tool uh, such as such as creating, sharing, using and man using and managing uh, creating Wiki. Wiki is a tool that can create uh, many types of the taking uh, in the website. And the uh, second, and the second is 
Vicky has used many, th many technologies such as MeshUp and Ticket. And and here is we, we will talk about what is MeshUp. Uh, MeshUp has many types such as vi video MeshUp and Im Im image web image MeshUp. The re the video MeshUp and image web Mesh up. We could uh, there's an example such as uh, YouTube. Uh, YouTube has using the technology, the technology of the video mashup and image mashup. And this, and the second technology is the tagging. Wiki uh, as uh, as we use tagging to create a website. There's uh, we we have to use any taggings in there. And so as so so how come how come Vicky become a successful knowledge management tool is that he has it has used uh, the technology the mashup and taking and there's and it's the features of the management, knowledge management tool. And why do we do this topic is, uh, as we had to finish the third topic, we had to know many about Vicky and Mesha because uh, since the LC, the, co the contract number two, we have to do the Vicky and Mesha. And and after we have done that, we have. As we all know that uh, a Wikipedia, you can know that we, have, we use or we use it to find many uh, knowledge or resources. That's why it uh, inspired us uh, to to find how can uh, Wiki as a man knowledge management tool. That's why we choose this. Have you finished? Yes. Okay. And actually, I think you have uh, select a very good topic. It's a very challenging, challenging topic. It's also a very meaningful topic because we know that uh, we know that your interest in knowledge management. And uh, in the past, when we talk about man knowledge management, we often talk about it as if it is already there. But someone must have created a system for us to share knowledge, to construct knowledge to socialize knowledge, for us individually to internalize knowledge and to externalize knowledge. And tell me frankly, Wiki is really a very good tool for that. And I'm so glad that they, they connect and, and directly present this concept. Now, definitely, they will encounter a lot of difficulty because they need to work out a good working system in order to install something that people use. And I cannot imagine we can use the wiki on our photo system to swoop away. And that is a baby wiki. So if you really want to have a good knowledge management system built on wiki, we use professional wiki. Like uh, sometimes we use the Google site. Oh, right? So we thank you very much. Yeah. Um, you see that they have a very meaningful topic, even though they just have two members here. But I, I would love to give them the chance because they have a topic that's very, very good. And I hope that you really can continue to explore that. It's something that you will not miss if you continue to explore this. Okay, and I'm so glad that eventually, although we are a little bit delayed, all the teams who've done the presentation for learning contract number three. And so uh, now, may I ask you one very important question? Although I have spent 25 minutes at the beginning of the class to interpret for you what you need to do, before the end of the semester, in order to apply the score you want, you need to understand each one of you now has to start doing your individual e-portfolio. And that is you on Wiki. Actually, it is a sign for you to share knowledge. And although this time, you're just sharing it with me, not everybody. But it's how you're going to share what you have learned in the semester. The theme is, remember, your e-portfolio. Although I told you that it is your individual work, it's about collecting the work you did in the first free learning contract. But the theme is, you must explain what I have learned in this semester. 
No one can tell you exactly what you have learned in the semester, not even me as a teacher. I intend that you learn many things, but I do not dictate that you must memorize and learn all these things. That's why I give you a choice. Selecting a journal topic, out of the 10 to 14 weeks, you just need to produce five journals and five rounds, okay, for your learn score. And in the process of doing your free learning contract, you still have a lot of choice. Remember that? Many topics stay in the reading list. In the four wins in the first learning contract, in the three wins in the second learning contract, and also in the three wins in the third learning contract. But out of these, you always select one as your journal topic, and then you try to integrate this with your learning partner, and then with your peers' work done, you try to integrate your peers' work with your team peers' work. You are just doing a lot of knowledge processing, okay? And you are managing your knowledge. Here is an example. Wiki is the tool for you to produce your e-portfolio. Just enough of this course so that you know how to transfer this experience to your Mahara later on. At least you have this experience. So very good, indeed, the topic is one. Okay. So, if you have any questions, you can ask me, and I will let you discuss in your table with your table member to make sure you understand what you need to do, okay? Uh, I promise I will give you back the score of learning country number two and three within one or two weeks, okay? Definitely before the end of November so that you know how to include it in your um, portfolio. Now allow me to take attendance for today. Uh, which is very important. Rex. Rex is not here today. Okay. Fiora, you're here. Sequence, you're here. Terry, you're here. Neil, you're here. And then Coco, you're here. And COCO, you're also here. And then Adrian, you're here. Vicky, you're here. Uh, Aris, you're here. Lamobi, you're here. And then Rajon, you're here. Paizai, you're here. All right. And then Nahobut, the you're here. Schofield, Schofield is not here today. Okay. And then Rina, you're here. And Selena, you're here. Addison, you're not here here today. And so Rita, you're here. And Karen, you're here. Boss is not here anymore. Okay, and Andre, Andre, Andre is not here today. So Tiffany, you're here, thank you. And then Teresa, you're here. And Cindy, you're here. And Richie, Erica, you're here. And Alice, you're here. Will. Will is here. Thank you very much. You're almost here. Excellent class. Now, if you have any questions, you can raise your hand and come to your table. It makes you understand. From now on to the end of the semester is individual work. Okay? You need to collect back your, what you need in the first free learning contract. And then you need to get prepared your 10 minute speech of the semester called What I Have Learned. That is important because it's going to give you 15 score, 15 semester point in phrase of your midterm, okay? Because we're not going to have any more term. Instead, you must individually do 10 minutes a speech of the semester called what I have learned. I'm going to schedule it now instead of a sign link with a good time slot and you need to respond. My intention is the sooner you respond to reserve the time slot, the better. Because we have the almost 28 students. 28 times 10 is 280 minutes. We need 280 minutes. Now, six class, six times 75, how many minutes do we have? We should have enough minutes, okay? So don't waste the chance, okay? Let me set up the call for your speech of the semesters, you know that you need to sign up in order to secure your 15 semester points, okay?
Okay, may I bring your attention to the sign up link for the speech of the semester. What I have learned in CISG 114, section 1, is now up in the public online discussion forum 11, in week number 11. Okay, so you can sign up your link, sign up the time slot to deliver your 10 minutes important speech to earn that 15 points by coming to this link and then. You press reply, okay? You press reply. And then you just need to copy this particular table and put your name in the suitable box, okay? Do you see that? We should have enough time. Uh, we need 280 minutes for all the students in this class to deliver you 10 minutes uh, speech of the semester. And from the number of days we still have studying next week, we could have 700, uh, 375 minutes there. So still have some time for us to make sure you understand the ideas of learning portfolio as we intend. So to give you a head start. Let's fast forward to week number 11. Okay, and then allow me to... Now, before I interpret for you the meanings of continuous learning, I'd like to bring you to the portfolio first, okay? Because there, you can understand the meaning of it. So, let's use the City University of Hong Kong as an example, okay? So we you have your attention now, okay? You can start understanding the importance of this portfolio for your career, also studying about it. So let's go to the City University of Hong Kong. She applied for an intern job in the summer holidays. In a group interview, Emily was surprised to see the other candidates were very competent at telling people what they were good at and showing concrete examples to showcase their achievements. Emily was confused. She had also prepared for the interview. Why was she not as confident as the other candidates? Soon after the interview, Emily found out their killer strategy was something called e-portfolio. So, what is an e-portfolio? An e-portfolio is a way of presenting yourself online, a multimedia environment of personal artifacts selected for a specific purpose from a personal repository or archive. In an e-portfolio, you can showcase your best work to present evidence of your expertise and accomplishments to a specific audience, such as an employer or teacher. An e-portfolio can also be a learning and a management tool to help you organize your goals and activities and to encourage deep learning through collaboration and reflection. No wonder the other candidates were so confident and competent. Now Emily realized that her CV and covering letter were really not sufficient. Emily decided to create her own e-portfolio, but confronted by piles of work and loads of information she wanted to present, Emily was lost. How could she deal with all of this in one single e-portfolio? You may have the same question as Emily did. Here are four steps you can follow to organize your work and information. Step 1. Start collecting the footprints of your life, which can be the work you have done or thoughts written down. The collection becomes your personal database. Step 2. Spend some time thinking about who you are and what you want to be. Identify your goals, they can be short term or long term, and come up with action plans. Step 3. Follow your plans. In the meantime, reflect on your performance and thinking when carrying the plans out. Step 4. Organize your work and reflection, and put them in your database. Emily had been collecting her work and reflecting on her experiences during her time at CDU. When looking for a job, 
and they selected relevant information from the pool and created her employment in portfolios. She could therefore talk more fluently about her achievements and provide more concrete examples of her expertise to impress potential employers. Now Emily is a manager in her company and she continues to use an e-portfolio to manage her professional development and present her achievements. Okay, I hope within that couple of minutes you do get a sense of why we are doing what we are doing in the semester. When you try to put together an episode of life to build up some kind of portfolios of your tracks, records, you need idea, you need question, what do I need that for? You need SOL, you need to have a very good goal management, time management, task management, and assessment for your own progress. And of course, you need to demonstrate a diversified of learning experience such as in teamwork. When you try to put them together and share them with other people, people look at you as a mature, organized professional. And that's the reason why Emily, without doing that at the very beginning, feels less confident than and why other people have become that confident in present themselves, but not her. Well, that is the reasons why at the University of Macau we also would like you to understand that the score or the grade you were in the particular course does not matter much when you come to the real world for work, but the way the Philippines you keep track of for your own learning in a specific period of time, put it very simply, in a course boundary. If you can manage to produce something like this, you still can manage to produce something for the whole semester work. You still can manage to produce something for the whole four years college study. And many people would they in time for the graduate study because they have a very good record, a very organized pattern of what they learned and what they did. They got a chance much, much more faster than what you expect. So, one of the important things in this course, instead of asking you to write a final exam, which I want to have experience with, is that instead of the final exam, can you tell what you've learned in a specific course of study, 14 weeks, by creating your personalized portfolio of what you learned? So that's the purpose of using the learning portfolio instead of the final exam. You do not need to memorize anything. Instead, you need to apply what you learn to keep a good record of what you learn there. And basically, it's your knowledge management in actions. Okay? So I hope you understand the meaning of that. And if you have any questions, definitely you can ask me. Alright? So the next thing you need to ask yourself, do I know how to start doing my portfolio using the wiki link in our course for those sites? You need to start thinking about what to build up in your own portfolio. How are you going to build the front page? What other rooms you want to create in your portfolio for people to look at if in case it is being made public for other people to preview? Okay? So I hope you have questions, you can ask me. This is very important for you. Alright? I cannot tell you how you're going to design your portfolio. I cannot tell you what you need to put in. How are you going to put in, in what shape is your creative design, okay? But you can see that any wiki is built on a collection of pages. How are you going to create the hyperlink of those pages? It's purely an art rather than a technique, all right? And how are you going to beautify the individual pages? with different sets of design, like how are you going to dress yourself up and present the best image rather than this query a person takes. Okay? So I hope you understand that. If you do have any questions, we're going to stop here. Now, I hope you start signing up here 
Remember where you're going to sign up for your speech of the semester? Week number 11, public online discussion forum. And then, did you see that? I got 10 responses already. Okay, Rina, November the 24th. Vicky, November the 28th. Rita, November the 28th. Coco, uh, November the 24th. Looks, looks like Coco and uh, Rina is competing with the second students. <laughs> so, when you see that a particular stuff has already been filled by someone, you might need to show up another stuff. But we can do it subsequently. Okay, you can see that um, I got a lot of response already. So this is very good. Now, remember, on each particular day, we could only accommodate the most seven students. If you come, if you look at the other side, and if all the seven stop on that day has already been filled up, you need to select another day, okay? So otherwise, it's very hard to manage all the students on one day, okay? So, yeah, it's very good. All right, that's it for today's CISG 114, Section 1, Web Technology and Light, day number 24. Until next week, week number 13, in day number 25. Then we have a speech of the semester. Thank you. Let me switch off.